Hi, everyone, and thank you all for joining the CAN demo today. Let's jump right into a Hoodoo instance and show some of the key features and benefits that Hoodoo has to offer. Hoodoo is a product that serves as a single source of truth for your documentation, and we start here on the dashboard screen where I can jump into what I was recently working on and look through the activity feed to monitor what my technicians are doing. Now I'm gonna jump straight into the companies tab here where I have all of my companies laid out for me and I can easily find whichever one that I'm looking for. Jumping into Atlas Company Inc., I have a customizable quick note section for whatever information I want on the forefront of that company page. And I could even utilize Houdini, Hoodoo's AI assistant to standardize a template for what I want my quick notes to look like. Now I'm able to further customize my client dashboard utilizing Hoodoo's REST API. Here I've set up the magic dash to bring in other information to the forefront of my company page, such as a internal client dashboard and network diagram. Each company also has a museum, which acts as an archive to store old and inactive information and is a great tool for change control as well as to declutter your Hoodoo environment and keep you organized. Jumping into our first core tool here, our password section, this serves as your central repository to store and organize all passwords related to this company. You can organize passwords through password tagging and password folders. These folders can be created at the global level, making it very easy to apply permissions to the folder and bulk manage whatever passwords you need to have those permissions. Each password has quick action items, such as the ability to copy a username, password, and OTP to your clipboard. And as soon as you click into a password, you can now reveal that password and its OTP code along with its expiration. Each password does have a dark web alert feature, which serves as a password strength tool and lets you know if this password has been found on the dark web. Hoodoo does have a lot of free sharing options as well, so if you ever need to quickly share out a password to anybody, you can choose what you want to include, create the link, and share by either copying to your clipboard or sending via email. If I wanted this link to expire before that hour is up, I could go ahead and expire it at any time. Hoodoo also has a built-in password generator, so if you are changing or auditing passwords in Hoodoo, you can specify the parameters of what you want your passwords to be, making sure they fit in with your company standards. Our next core tool is our processes section, which focuses on your step-by-step -step guides for completing your day-to-day -day tasks and your SOPs. You can start by standardizing your processes at the global level by creating global process templates. As soon as we need to start one of these processes within this company, we can simply create from template. Once that process is created, it will then show up here in our list view. I can jump into the process, change the name if needed, edit the process if needed. And now I can start this process, going through it, checking off steps as they are completed, I can have notes for task completion, assign users, due dates, priority levels, and write in completion notes once a task is finished. I'm also easily able to copy all of my completed tasks, which can be a great way to serve as an internal note for process completion. Going off with our free sharing options, I'm also easily able to send out a real-time status update of my processes, so if I have a manager of a company or anybody outside of my Hoodoo instance that I want to be able to follow along with as these steps are completed, I can send them this link and this will live update for them as those steps are checked off. Now, hopping into our next core tool here, RKB section, this serves as your central repository for storing and organizing all articles related to this company. All documents, articles, and how-to guides can be stored in this company's KB section, and you also do have a central KB for articles that make sense to have across all clients. Within your KB section, you can create folders and subfolders for KB organization, and just like with processes, if you want to standardize the way your articles are written, you can create KB templates and use those for some or all of your articles. Jumping into an example article here, we have our table of contents for easy navigation to any information you may need. 
If you're using scripting in your articles, it'll show what's being used as well as the ability to copy to your clipboard to retain any formatting. And each article does have a public share link here as well. The editor in Hoodoo is going to be a WYSIWYG editor. You can make changes such as the headers, which are going to populate that table of contents for you, adding in block quote and inline code where needed, as well as callouts like this danger callout you see above. Once you finish up with your edits, you can choose a folder for that article to be placed into for organizational purposes or just simply publish. Now I showed off that global activity feed on the main dashboard, but a lot of these sections we're talking about also have their own activity feed. As I click into the most recent update of this article, I can see the full revision history of the article from its creation. I can jump back to any previous version, revert back to that version if needed, see who made the changes and when they were made. In addition, I can also compare the differences between versions so I can see exactly what was taken out and added in from the previous version. Hoodoo has this revision history capability for all passwords, KB articles, IPAM, racks, and assets, so any of those items can be tracked and audited at any time. The next core tool of Hoodoo is going to be the photo section where you can upload all of your photos that you have within this company. Photos can also be attached to other documentation and can be uploaded through the mobile app. Our next tool here is going to be our IPAM section where you can document your networks, VLANs, and VLAN zones so you can easily identify which networks are a part of which VLANs. As I click into one of our networks here, I'm able to see the total IP addresses for the network and what all those IP addresses are currently doing. Whether they're assigned to a device, reserved for one coming in, I'm also able to track the details about a network and any subnets inside the network. Now moving on to the rack management portion of Hoodoo, if you have a technician that needs to find a device on a rack and there isn't any documentation on that rack, it can be very challenging and time consuming to find a device. Through Hoodoo's rack management solution, you are able to document these racks to ensure that every device is accounted for. The tool allows you to specify a rack of arbitrary height, give it a name, and choose whether you want your rows in ascending or descending order. In addition, each rack's power can be tracked and managed by total utilization and power draw, and you're also easily able to print out a line-by-line -line document of the rack so you always have a hard copy if needed. The next core tool is going to be our websites tool, and as I click into one of our websites, I'm able to see the status and expirations of the website, which was accomplished from just putting in the website URL. The expirations are easily identifiable, but if you want to look into all of the expirations across this specific company, you can go into the expirations tool. Now, as I mentioned, all website expirations are automatically tracked, but I've also added expirations here for my articles for auditing purposes and warranty expirations for my devices. In addition, alerts can be set up for all of your expirations. Alerts in Hoodoo can be triggered via webhook or sent directly to an email. Now, taking a step back for a second, we touched on some of those one-off sharing methods for passwords, processes, and KB articles. The external portal is the most comprehensive way of storing and sharing documentation and building a portal that hosts all of it. As I click into the external portal for this company, I can configure different assets, passwords, KB articles, and more for the end user to view. If I want to see what they see as a portal user, I can click view portal and view all of the information that they're able to see. I've given them access to specific passwords and they're able to go in and copy and reveal a password from this section. They just can't make any changes. The external portal is completely for free for unlimited portal users. So now as I jump back into this instance here, everything you see under the core tools section here are all of our asset layouts that we've created and standardized across our entire Hoodoo instance. Assets serve as customizable containers to help you organize your information. As I jump into our desktops asset layout here, here we now have a view of all of our desktops across this company. 
Clicking into one, I'm now able to see an integration card coming in from Ninja containing all of the information we have on this device stored in Ninja. Integrations in Hoodoo sync every three hours, but you can always manually resync individual integration cards or entire integrations as needed. Now I've also added additional information to this asset by using Hoodoo's flexible asset layouts. I've customized this asset layout and its field so I can quickly copy an IP address to my clipboard. I've added in a warranty expiration for the device along with all of these other fields here as well. Now you can use related items in Hoodoo to essentially create a web of your documentation, making sure you're always one click away from the next thing you need access to. Here I am on this desktop and I wanna go view the primary owner of the desktop's documentation. As I click into Sarah Sanchez, I do retain the connection with my desktop as all relationships are two-way connected. And I have the full picture of all of Sarah's documentation her device, her passwords, and everything else associated with her. Now, so far, we have spent all of our time in this one company, Atlas Inc., which is great when you need to find documentation directly within that specific company. Sometimes, though, you can find yourself jumping between clients within Hoodoo to check expirations and track down assets. To get one consolidated view of all of this information across all companies, you can go into global. With the global view, you can see passwords, networks, racks, websites, expirations, and assets across all of the companies that you have access to without clicking into each one individually. It is a faster, more organized way to get the full picture of your documentation. So now we've talked about how we can access this asset information and find it throughout our Hoodoo instance, but let's dive into how we can actually create these asset layouts. As I jump into our admin section of Hoodoo and into asset layouts, here I have a full view of all of our active asset layouts across our entire Hoodoo instance. When I'm creating a new asset layout, I can start from scratch building it out field by field exactly how I want it to look, or I can start from various templates that Hoodoo has already created for me. These templates and all of your asset layouts are completely flexible and customizable. So if I jump back into one of my asset layouts here, I am able to add new fields based on the information I want to track, rearrange the fields so they show in any order I want them to, and edit or delete any field I choose. If I go ahead and edit the field, I now have all of these different field types to choose from. I can simply use a text box or a checkbox or add a date if I want to track any expirations across my Hoodoo instance. Now, of course, integrations will play a big part in this, so you can go into your admin section and into integrations to get any native integration that you want to set up in Hoodoo. When you're setting up an integration, you can jump into whatever integration you'd like to set up, edit settings, and it'll show you exactly what an integration is able to pull into Hoodoo. You can walk through the setup guide, add in your key or identifier, and then sync information in to the spot that you want it to be placed into in Hoodoo. And we can get really granular with this as well. So if you have different device types that you want in different places in Hoodoo, you can specify what you're bringing over and select those asset layouts. Again, just making sure that everything that's coming over into Hoodoo is in the place that you want it to be. Now, as I jump back into admin, here's where I'm able to set up the security of my instance, like 2FA, SAML SSO, and IP access control. I can also go add my users and create groups to set permissions across my Hoodoo instance. The admin section of Hoodoo is also where I can configure Houdini and set up any external apps that I want to utilize. Hoodoo does have a browser extension for easily autofilling passwords on websites, a mobile app for accessing your Hoodoo documentation on the go, and a Screen Connect extension which allows you to access your Hoodoo passwords and KB articles within your Screen Connect instance. 
In addition, a subset of our browser extension is Hudu Assist, which allows you to access your Hudu documentation directly while you're in your PSA or RMM. In addition, you can set up Hudu Bridge to create a bridge between two Hudu instances, making sure that users have access to all of the companies that they need. Thank you so much for joining us today, and if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to us at our community or support.hoodoo.com.